Hey, so today I'm working on a short passion project, a little micro documentary, and I thought I would just bring you along for the ride. It'll be kind of a little example of what it's like to just be one person out there pulling together all of the layers, sound, audio, lighting to make a really cool little short documentary video. So uh, let's get started. stoked you're along for the ride today just want to throw out a reminder to hit like subscribe and hit the bell notification if you like the content and I'll see you at the location okay so we have arrived at the location it's actually my dad's place he is a painter and today we are going to talk to him about some recent works that he's done let's go in and check it out Labyrinth. Oh my god. Hello. Hi. The subject. How are you? I'm good. Uh. So first thing we're going to do here is basically just kind of take a look at the space and decide on an area to set up the cameras. In looking at the space, there is some large windows over here. Um, it's kind of darker, less windows over here. So what I'm gonna do is utilize that uh, light source uh, and window as kind of a motivational source. We'll be utilizing some of the natural light and then I'll be augmenting that with studio lighting as well so that if the light shifts and changes outside, we still keep consistent lighting on our subject. So after sizing up the room, figuring out where I want to place my cameras, I start getting all that stuff set up. I got two cameras on the shoot today, A camera, wider master shot, B camera, which will be on the slider, slightly tighter shot on the subject. From there, once those are framed up, I can start working on the lighting itself. So once the lighting is all dialed in, next step is setting up the audio. And I am definitely a firm believer in redundancy in audio um, in terms of setting up multiple mics to capture the audio. Usually what I'm doing is using a over the head boom mic and as well um, lavalier mics. Today we're gonna to be using these cool little Rode Go mics. And effectively redundancy uh, just gives you that extra security that you've got everything you needed there. So now that we're at that stage, let's just jump right into doing this interview. How's that going? It's going okay. This is, uh, the, the, this is gonna be the next episode. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're in the next episode. All right, here we go. All right, so we wrapped up the interview and the next step from here is to capture some B-roll. This process is where things get a little bit more loose, a little more fun, a little more experimental. I usually like to start capturing a wide shot, setting the space and the location, the environment, letting us know where we are. From there, moving in closer and closer to details of the process that's being filmed. And definitely also like to grab details of just the space, if there are interesting still lifes within the space. These are great opportunities to just capture also the personality of the subject through the environment that they've created around them. So that's a wrap for today. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, if you'd like to check out my top 10 tips for conducting documentary interviews, you can take a look at this next video here and I'll see you in the next one.